All right, first I want to give praises unto Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father. Double praises unto the Mashiach, Yahshua HaMashiach, the Son of God, the Savior. Double praises unto the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Wisdom that gives us this truth and this knowledge to understand the Bible prophecy and opens our eyes up to this truth. Barak, Haba, Bisham, Blessed be he who comes in the name of Yahweh, blessed be his name. Barak, Atah, Adonai, Elohinu, Melech, HaOlan, blessed art thou, O Yahweh, our God, King of the universe. All praises go to all three of them. Right, now, these people just prove my point. They just prove my point of what I'm saying. Now, I came across a song. I don't. I don't go looking for these songs. They just recommended to me. I don't go looking for these songs because the music's garbage. This gets recommended to me, and then I see it, and then I see it's full of occult symbolism, and after expose it. But again, they just proved my point. I said that this artist Nicky Jam was a sellout months ago, and now. Now he starts throwing up the devil horns openly. This is what I mean. These people prove my point. I know it's called the gift of discernment. When someone starts throwing it up little by little, sub hiddenly, then they'll start throwing it openly. So that's why you know, as soon as the, uh, anyone that ever, ever throws up the hand signs is no doubt a sellout. No, everyone knows what these symbols mean, so there's no excuse. And of course, what do they have to promote? The lie that they've been promoting for years. The evolution, the Big Bang, that this is what the Earth looks like. No, it doesn't. This here is not what the Earth looks like. The sun is not like this. They say the sun is a billion miles away from the Earth, when we all know the Earth isn't a ball. And if if a ball earther watches this, if you want to believe in the ball earth, go ahead. If you want to believe in the deception by NASA, then that's your choice. It's your choice, honestly, it's your choice. If you want to believe in a lie and believe in the Big Bang and believe that we were created out of thin air and that we were... Because this is what scientists say. They say how we came into existence was just by an accident, we're not even supposed to be here, joke, again, so, and people say, oh, the, the, the shape of the earth doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't rely on salvation, well, that part is very true, but two, it does matter, because again, Satan's earth is the ball earth, and people have said to me before, how is the, how is the, the ball earth satanic? Well, one, it equals, it equals the big bang. The earth, the ball earth pre basically promotes that God doesn't exist. And that God never existed. And that we were just created out of thin air. That's why it's a problem. And two, there's major errors with it. They say that we're spinning at a thousand miles per hour. Nope. If we were spinning at so-called a thousand miles per hour, then how can we don't see the Earth move one single bit at all on the inside? If you spin the ball, you'd see it from the inside. But we don't see it, do we? Because the Earth isn't a ball, that's why. Again, it's all garbage, it's a myth. And you notice again, the same so-called NASA live streams that they do, this is exactly how they portray the Earth looking. Fake galaxy, just the green screen in the background, and then this ball-looking looking sun. The sun doesn't even look like this, and it never will, but again, it's just garbage, absolute garbage, man. The earth is not a ball. If you actually read the Bible, you can't use the word circle that is in Isaiah. Look up it in Hebrew. The word means chug. Chug just means the atmosphere. 
doesn't mean a circle. There's many errors with it. When the Messiah comes, everyone shall, every eye shall see him at one time. It doesn't say circles around the earth. Nowhere does it say that. Nowhere. That's why anyone promoting a ball earth is no doubt being a deceiver. They are being a deceiver. They're lying to you. NASA are liars. And they always will be. We didn't land on the moon. None of it's real. Space doesn't even exist. It, gravity doesn't exist. It's just water. As if you read the Bible, God divided the waters from the earth and the waters outside the firmament. What is a firmament? The sky. So again, that's all space is. Water. That's all it is. It's not weight. It's not gravity. Gravity doesn't even exist. It's fake. Man, you just gotta love this. You, you just gotta laugh at this. They're admitting and mocking you right in front of your face. That this is how they do their so called NASA live streams. Where they acted like they landed on Mars. This is all it is. It's just a room. It's all it is. You ever noticed in certain places like the desert, the orange desert? They said that's where they go to so-called film Mars in the desert. That's where they go. You can tell it's the desert. It's not hard to figure out. They are like they, because again, you'll notice how they portray Mars. It looks exactly the same as the desert. Because it is the desert. They've not, and again, people are like, uh, people that defend NASA are like, why would they lie? Why would they lie? Um simple so they can make billions and billions of dollars a year off you what money would they make out of saying the earth is flat none they'd make none because they can't go to space they'd lose money because when they promote the ball earth they admit they can't go outside space no no live streams no satellites they have no money. So that's why they lie. Money. They're all about money. Most people that work for NASA are basically descendants from the time of Hitler. That's where they went. Na the Nazis went and worked for NASA because that's, that's why they're so easy to deceive people as people I just blinded and believe it. I mean, every single movie, they promote the Earth as a ball. And it looks exactly the same as their so-called live streams. Yet nobody wakes up and realizes that the Earth is not a ball. Why do you think in Hollywood movies, they can fake, fake scenes where it looks like they're in space? Yeah, people still believe that we've been to space. I mean, what a joke. It's a joke. No one's been to space. It, it's just, they wear this massive suit and then, again, if you actually, f even admit it as well, if you fly to a certain altitude, well, whether this is a fart, they say that you flow. I mean, yeah, that's obviously, of course, almost near the water that God talked about. It's not gravity, it's water. Well, again, they just mock your ear, acting like they've landed on a planet. It's just the de it's just the green screen, and it's just the dust. This is how they fool the masses into believing they landed on a planet. I mean, how can you land on a planet that's so-called spinning? They say the moon moves faster than the earth. So how can you land on it? It's impossible. Anything that was on it, spinning at a thousand miles per hour, if there was any equipment on it, it would have been thrown off the planet. But of course, gravity, gravity, uh, whatever. And there we go. One eye symbolism and the worship of a woman. This is all these songs are about worshipping women. Worship women this, women that. 
You only worship women. It's a joke. It is an absolute joke. And then right after this, he throws the devil horns up. And there you go right there. Throwing up the devil horns. Nobody can argue with it. He knows what he's doing there. He's throwing it right up. Not even bothering to hide it anymore. As I said, these people, when, when they get exposed, it seems to me... Every single time I make a, a video exposing these clowns, they suddenly later on through the career decide to start throwing it out openly. I mean, they just proved my point anyway. I don't need to say a thing. They prove themselves with what they throw up, the symbols and all that. It's what it is, the sellouts. I mean, as I've mentioned that tattoo before, the owl, the monarch owl. These people don't just get these tattoos for no reason. Like, they think he gets a tattoo because he likes owls. No. He gets it because it represents the monarch owl of the Illuminati. Or it goes all the way back to bow worship. And of course, then again, the all seeing guy of the Illuminati, right? Again, one eye shall be utterly darkened. Not a shock. And of course, what do we have here? Lying inside of a Illuminati triangle. All these people just love triangles. No, they don't. It simulates the Illuminati. Lying inside a Illuminati triangle. Again, worship of women's sexualization like always. Not a shock. And there you go right there. Devil horns. He's always, always throwing it all, all the time. And again, this is how they fake that they land on planets and that. Look at it, green screen, special effects, CGI, it's all possible today, but again, people just don't question anything these days, they just believe whatever they're told, because that's what the schools tell you, oh, don't question anything that we teach you, just accept, just accept it as um, is real, it's the truth, and again, this song again, the title of the song has got X, and then another X, and then it's, it flashes a third X before the song even starts. See so again, six, six, six. That's what it means. X, X, X. Three t X means six in geometry and numerology. So again, it equals six, six, six. The mark of the beast. Not by accident. They do it deliberately. And this is what makes you laugh as well. People say the earth is a ball. Then why is the sky completely flat? Explain that one. These ball earthers out there that believe in the ball earth. And again, there's even so-called Christians out there. They believe in the ball earth, yet say they follow Jesus Christ. Yet, the ball earth is completely garbage and it's the light of the devil. If you actually read the Bible, you'd see the earth is flat. And it's not like the models that they give, like the so-called shills out there give. The earth is completely flat. No, there's, I've mentioned before, there is no mention of the word dome in the Bible. It's just that the firmament means the air. It just means the sky. We see, why do you think we can see the clouds? There's no reflection of the clouds in the sky, is there? Again, you'll even look at the ocean, it's completely flat. You can see the sun right there. Yeah, oh, the, the earth is a ball, the earth is a ball, then why can't you see the sun? Uh, you won't be able to see the sun over the curve. There's no, where's the curve here? No, that's right, there isn't one, is there? And again, the way the clouds go across the sky. Do they go in a circular motion? No, didn't think so. Didn't think so. They go in a straight way. Because again, the earth is flat, not a ball. It's not a ball. So again, it's funny how they say the sun is a billion miles away, then why can you see the sun that close? I thought the sun was a billion miles away. Again, it's garbage. The earth is not a billion miles, the sun is not a billion miles away. 
you read the Bible, the, the sun is just a light and the moon is just a light. It's not a planet. So again, if the moon and the sun are just lights, how can anybody land on them? It's right, they can't. So again, the sky, the sky of the clouds are completely flat. The ocean, the sea is flat, no curve in it. Yet they continuously want to promote that the earth is a ball. Again, yes, yeah, sure, the earth is a ball. Uh, mountains, mountains on an earth, that's really possible if the earth is a ball. Are those mountains now going to hang off the side of the earth, are they? What a joke. That's why they have to create that myth of gravity. That's why they have to create it, because otherwise, if they didn't create their gravity myth, no one would believe in the ball earth. Gravity doesn't exist either. It's it. Gravity doesn't exist. It's just water. There's what as it says. There's what God divided the waters that are on the earth for the waters in the sky. There's water in so-called space. That's what space really is. It's just water. It isn't gravity. There ain't no gra such thing as gravity. It's garbage. It's been debunked so many times and these ball earthers continue to just regurgitate the same thing that they've been told by a bunch of Freemasons. Oh, the earth. Why would NASA lie to us? Uh, again, think for yourself. Stop believing what you're told. Oh, look at that. Standing inside the Illuminati Triangle. Notice in the background the moon. Again, this is how they fake the moon landing, we already know anyway. Again, we got triangle there, triangle there, one there, and one here. Standing inside the Illuminati triangle. One eye symbolism right there. Pointing pointing out like he's going to shoot people. These people are a joke. This gangster image is laughable. It's all fake. They've not killed nobody. They never would. It's all a fake movement. A garbage movement. There is no such thing as a gangster. It's just a joke. And there we go right there. Are we going to still deny reality now and say that this guy is not sold out? Are we going to deny reality? You know, go ahead and deny reality. As I've exposed these people before, they prove my argument. They prove my argument. Again, oh, oh, this is an excuse the trolls and the dumbed-down masses use. Oh, this doesn't mean the devil horns. This means I love you. No, it doesn't. There's no letter L. There's no letter I. It's a nice try. It's the boffin that horns, even the people in the industry admit that it is the devil horns. Again, they'll probably use the excuse, oh, it's, it's, always, it's always thrown, you could have thrown this up by accident. Well, you could have said that the first time, but now you can't. Can't say it now. Can't say it now, he's thrown it up three times now. Three times he's thrown it up. One in the beginning, and now he's thrown it up twice. So again, you can't defend these people. You can try, but you fail miserably. These people are sellouts. You cannot make it in the industry and not sell out. It don't happen. What people don't realize either is you can be a Christian and be a Freemason. See, people today just think that Oh no! No one's no one's sold out in the industry. As soon as they join the industry, they haven't sold out. They've already sold out from day one. That's what people need to understand and wake up to reality. The industry. As soon as you sign that contract, you take an oath. You take an oath. Simple as that. Freemasonry. Why do you think they only, they pick certain artists? That's why most artists have got no talent at all. They're just puppets that are, cho are choosed. Again, you you have to have a connect. Your either one of your family members has to have a connection to the Freemasons for them to it introduce you. Because you see, you notice with all of them, they're all connected. Because again, that's the way it works. They don't they don't bring anyone outside that bloodline. That's why you see they're all connected to one another. Because they're all sellouts. And it, because if you actually read all the degrees of Freemasonry, 
you will see that Freemasonry, the first degree, just the normal degree, second degree, there's many degrees, which proves even as well that so-called pastors and churches are Freemasons. I mean, why do you think many of them have been arrested for pedophilia, lust, fornication, cheating on the wives? They're full of it. Catholic churches are full of it. It's a false religion. It's idolatry. It's the same as most religions. I don't follow a religion. I follow a relationship. That's what real Christianity is. A relationship with Christ. It's not a religion. So, the religion of Catholicism, I do not follow. It's an abomination. It's idolatry. And that's why you see most Christian churches today celebrating Easter, Christmas, Halloween, pagan holidays like, like Valentine's Day, and the list goes on. They celebrate them, yet they're supposed to be living for God, a church of God. Bible says God does not dwell in temples made with hands. This is why he doesn't dwell in these, these churches. Because again, they are completely against God. They support hot pagan holidays. Getting people to celebrate Christmas, which it comes from Nimrod. So again, nobody can deny it. It's right there in your face. One there and one there. You have to purposely position your hand this way to throw at the devil horns. This doesn't just happen by accident. You have to position it this way. So there's no excuse. He's, so, he's a sellout. And there we go right there. We're going to deny it again, are we? Right there. Through, so one, two, three, four, five. Five times he's through it up now. What is he going to do? Throw it up six times. Again, six. Add it up three times. Six, six, six. These, we, as I said, these people work with signs and symbols. Every single time they're throwing up the, these hand signs, they're saluting their Freemason brothers. That's really what they're doing. They're basically saying, hey, I'm one of you. That's really what they're saying. So we're right there, devil horns, right there, devil horns. No excuse. He knows exactly what this means and what he's doing. And he ain't no excuse. No excuse at all. And like I said, they just always, he just has to stand here, doesn't he? Where, where he's blocking one eye. Yeah, again, it's to indoctrinate you with all seeing eye symbolism. That's what it is. All seeing eye, devil horns, the ball of agenda. It's what these people are about. They're part of the agenda. And you see here, it's like they're surrounded. It's, it does look like he's walking on water. Again, what is this? Another, is this a blasphemy towards Jesus Christ? Because it does look like they're walking on water. We all know that these people believe that they are a god. Why are they suddenly surrounded by water? Uh, since when has there ever been a place in the middle of the ocean where you can just sit there? Nowhere. So it's prob probably is a mockery of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the only one that could walk on water. He, he was the only one that could do it because he was the son of God. That's why. But these people want to blaspheme that and say that they are God. Because it's the agenda of the Freemasons. Well, you can be your own God. S same lie that Satan promoted. You shall be as gods, knowing God and evil. And there we go right again, throwing the devil horns up right there. Notice the enlightenment, the light in the background. And then right there again, the devil horns. Again, if you, this is no surprise now. Nobody throws the devil horns up this amount of times by accident. No one does it. So again, this light in the background, we all know that servants of Lucifer, as it says in the Bible, for even... So for Lucifer manifests itself as an angel of light, so it's no su surprise that his servants will also do the same. So again, they manifest themselves as angels of light, meaning righteous people, but in reality, inside and behind closed doors, they're nothing but wicked. They're nothing but wicked people. 
the light righteous, but in reality they're nothing but Satanists. So again, again, now I'm getting the real meaning of this song. I know exactly what's going on here. This is a mockery of the Bible. It's exactly what this is. This is a mockery of the Bible. Because again, you see the earth is without form. They are mocking the Bible. They keep showing the earth flat without form. And then they continuously keep showing. Now they start showing this. Now he's still in a robe. And he, he, look at it. It looks like there's water beneath him. This is a mockery of Jesus Christ. These people are wicked, wicked people. Look, he's walking on water or walking in clouds. What is it? Again, Jesus Christ is known to come back in a white robe. These people believe that they are God. Again, upside down cross. Upside down crosses all over the damn place. You think this is by accident? Nope. He's wearing a white robe. Again, which in the Bible is known as a garment. So again, this is just a mockery again of the Bible. Walking in the clouds, walking along the water. What did it say in the Bible? Satan. And I shall be like the Most High and ascend above the height of the clouds. So again, he's above the clouds. Lucifer, promotion of the devil again. And again, upside down cross. Think that's a coincidence? Nope. Not a coincidence at all. These people know exactly what they are doing. And there we go right there. From 666 hand sign twice. One right there. And one right there. 666 hand sign. No denying it. It's clearly the 666 hand sign. And again, performing the X sign add it up three times six 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 so again six 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 this is how these people work if if you don't study symbolism you're not gonna know this x he's got his hands well his arms in like an x formation that's one six six here six there Six, six, six. Mark of the beast again. See, the average person will go, oh, you're just an idiot. You're just a nutcase. Because they don't understand these things. These people know exactly what they're doing. They don't do this by accident. They know about these symbols. That's why they throw them up. Because it's Freemason symbols. The NX means six, six, six. That's what it means, X in numerology, like I said. Why do you think they chose the word fox in for the network? Why do you think they called it fox network? Fox, the whole word fox equals six. F equals six, O equals six, X equals six. So again, six, 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 network more like. There you go, right there. Looks like he's thrown up the devil horns. And you see, this just looks like a snake or a dragon. Either way, what, whether it's a snake or a dragon really doesn't matter because it still simulates the same thing. But it does look like a snake. Again, what is the snake representative of? Lucifer, again, the devil. That old serpent called the devil. So it's either, whether it is a snake or a dragon, who knows, but it does look like one. So if it is one, more, more promotion of Satan again. And again, more garbage, more of the agenda. You see this harlot here, because that's all women like this are, harlots. Basically half naked. Only with the... Um, People go, oh, you're jealous. Yeah, no, I'm not jealous. Why would it be? These people are sellouts. We all know where they're going. This woman is nothing but a harlot. Only with him because he's got that money. 
That's all these, all they are, gold diggers. And again, they just have to show this again. Upside down cross. Again, upside down cross. And it's red. Again, red. They love the color red. Satanists love the color red. It's a, they see, they love it. I mean, this, there's no doubt this is an upside down cross. You can clearly tell. So again, promoting Satanism. I really didn't want to show this, but it has to be exposed to prove my point. She's lying inside of a Illuminati triangle. Again, this just looks like a ritual. So it looks like she's lying inside of a Illuminati triangle, simulating the Illuminati again. All it is is promotion of the Illuminati. Again, another occult gender. The Black Sun. This is a cult agenda. The Black Sun is a cult agenda that they believe in. They, the Luciferians believe there is a Black Sun out there. And they believe that that is representation of Lucifer. They honestly believe this, that there's a Black Sun out there. Even the Hindus and all that, they worship the Black Sun. Is they say it's the goddess of the earth. It's all garbage. There ain't no goddess of the earth. God is not a damn planet. They say all oh, gods come from planets. No, they don't. God is eternal. He has been there from the beginning. He is not no planet. He doesn't come from a planet. He's in the heavens. What they promote otherwise. You got a planet here and you got one here. This is just really, really weird. Well, this here represents one, the black sun, which is a cult worship. It's all a cult worship. They wor the Satanists worship the black sun. It goes back to the Nazis. They worshipped it as well. And again, it would simulate the solar eclipse. These these people worship the solar eclipses like the some some once in a lot of lifetime event no they happen all the all the time happens all the time but they worship it because it's satanism they perform rituals when these things happen this is just a fact same with blood moons they worship blood moons when blood moons happen they do actually perform satanic sacrifices because again it's more it's more worship of their antichrist there we go, right there. Right there, the Illuminati Triangle, the same thing that the presidents throw up. And then before this scene, there was a cube floating around. I can't show it because, again, it contains certain nudity. But there was a cube floating around. Again, we all know what that simulates. Simulates the black cube worship again more worship of the devil and then he's flown at the Illuminati pyramid This is does not mean anti-illuminati it, it means Illuminati or we the Freemason sellout throw this Illuminati triangle up. It's to salute their masters As we see you see the cubes floating around It's what I was talking about okay, again the cubes Represent, represents Saturn. That's what it represents. Represents the planet Saturn. Worship the devil. That's what it is. And there we go again. Devil horns right there, thrown at the devil horns. No doubt about it. And there we go again. Thrown at the devil horns. Right there, thrown at the devil horns. There's no denying it. It's right there, thrown out once again.